What's going on, everybody? My name is Danny Ferrari. My name is Parker Romance. We are Excellent Sound, and we are back with another video. A very highly requested one by you guys, actually, I must say. Yeah, so we're going to be going over our track for Gas on Cartel Volume 2, the demo track that we created. Big we Gas. Big Gas. <laughs> I forgot the name already. So yeah, if you guys have seen our series, Ass or Gas, we've seen a lot of you guys commenting like, what song is this? What song is this? Show us this song. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to show you just a little bit of the sound design and how we kind of came up with some of the stuff for this, uh, all using entirely Cartel Volume 2. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, like, and go ahead and comment down below what your favorite uh, fucking song is. <laughs> we had yeah. FOMO Fridays going on. If you guys didn't already know, we have a brand new song coming out with FOMO called Lose Control. Lose con Audio cut out here. Sound out on March 19th. Pre-save link in description. I'm a fire pack! Holy shit! Let's fucking get shit that fire! on fire! Let's fucking shoot oh, it! Oh, my dude. fucking Let's face is on shit. fire! Let's fucking Fuck. go, dude. The most fire fucking sample pack ever. Ever. Guys, we have FOMO's brand new signature artist pack coming out on March... Don't know the date, but March 26. March 26. Get your shit together, Get your man. shit We're together. We're fucking live over here. We're f I'm s no, We're I'm talking to them. Live. They should know that, right? <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, FOMO Fire out March 26th. The song comes out March 19th, very, very soon. We'll show you some uh, previews here soon. But anyway, let's get into the fucking video. Let's fucking go. So yeah, um, really cool about this drop. Uh, again, it's like an older one, so it's it's really cool to revisit it. Uh, if you guys want to see us do Cartel Volume 3, let us know in the comments down below, because this is Volume 2. You guys seem to love it. So some of the main elements that are going on, I'm going to talk about some stuff, and Parker's going to talk about some stuff. Yeah. But uh, with the drums and the 808 is very, very important in this drop. A lot of just filler stuff. It was really cool when we were doing this because like we did a lot of like, I remember when we were writing this and we were, we were making the pack, I remember like really, really trying to put, wait, a lot of these fills in here were like, stuff, but doing a lot of layering. A lot of panning too, like a lot of a lot of really fun panning. Like if a fill comes in, going from like left to right or right to left, and kind of reversing different stuff. Um, that that tend to really help the song out a lot. I'll show you that more too in uh, the actual drop itself. Just kind of how some of the weird panning stuff's going on. Now here's a really cool fill that I thought was really cool. That kind of made the song. We kind of were doing the drums first, and then we had this little part. It was just essentially this thing. And what we were actually doing in the very beginning is I think we were putting this on the one. Because we're like, oh, what can we do for a cool thing on the one? Or it was like something over. Yeah, we were to mess around with a bunch of different ways of like kind of use trying to use this fill because we thought it was really interesting with the little hand things going on, you know what I mean? Yeah, I remember we were like super competitive with ourselves too to like kind of top our first yeah. cartel track yeah. too, you know? Yeah, that was that was a, a pretty good one. I mean, that one was just very much like a boombox cartel song, but yeah. this one was like us <laughs> trying to make something. Uh, and the snare is really cool too. It's got a really cool tone to it. It's uh, really important when you're doing this type of music. You have to have your trip, your snare, super fucking loud. <laughs> Shit's clicking and like whatever. Little little nice little thumper kick. That really helped with bringing out the drop. And then again, like these little elements here, like we were talking about, just kind of uh, simple stuff that's kind of happening between drum beats. What do you call that? Just like little subdivisions. Subdivisions. Like they're, they're essentially fills, dude. Essentially yeah. fills. Like a reverse triangle. Yeah. Just little things like that, just adding those. And it's not like we're like thinking like, oh, this needs a triangle. It's like, we're just grabbing shit and being like, this could be cool, let's try this, you know? And that's kind of how a lot of the production kind of goes for this stuff. Big thing too is the sub and the 808. And it would not be the same Tons if- Tons of glides. Yeah, a lot of gliding into the next note. That was very, very a big part of it. But it would not sound the same. If I turn this this high, like sort of uh, buzzy sort of thing that you, you hear like on the top, the little topper, which by the way, the new FOMO pack, they, they go, the guys went in and put in a bunch of sub toppers. There's like a hundred fucking presets in there, serum, uh, serum presets. Yeah, dude, it's bonkers. And we're actually doing, uh, for the first 500 people that buy the actual pack itself, we're giving you the project file, plus all the bonus 
just presets and samples, mind you. So there's a ton of extra bonuses and presets that I wanted to make sure you guys know about. Yeah, so put uh, March 26th in your calendar yeah, first, immediately. First 500 because we're doing the project file. So uh, this little sub topper is really, really cool to have. If you didn't have it, if I turn it off, you can kind of listen. Versus having it on. It has that like atmosphere thing to it yeah. that very helps the, the, the song kind of move along. It's interesting too because like a lot of people they try to do it like this but it's there's conflicting frequencies with their leads you know so you yeah. have to pick a very particular lead to use this so it doesn't get overcrowded. Right that's, that's a that's a really good point a lot of times people will just do it because they think they need to do it but they're actually like limiting themselves to what leads they can pick. Yeah. Exactly like what you're exactly. saying. Um, main thing that people get stoked on I think here is the the main lead which we're gonna go over. <laughs> crazy Mainly this part. And we'll show you kind of how all that shit was kind of done but let's go through some of these other instruments first we have like our buzz this is a really fun bass if you guys haven't seen uh the video where parker did on how to make uh your bass is i don't know was it like a how to make a mid-tempo bass yeah something like that but uh yeah you can check that out right up there Boop. 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 That. right up there Boop. it right there Okay, there's a good little video about how to make these type of basses, but uh, they're, they're pretty simple. I mean, this is actually just a sine wave or an 808. Yeah. Kind of group all these. Just like a dirty sine wave. And then some, some lows caught off on it. And then of course we got this flare growl, which is super simple. And what that's doing is that's, that's a huge thing too with the panning is it's going left to right. So this would be center. Now your listener's like, whoa, what the fuck is happening? And then we get that, that uh, you know, the main lead in the center. And yeah, the, and if you guys notice, when he's soloing stuff, you can hear the lows cut out of all these really nice bases. Oh yeah, good point. we have really good, fat, juicy, like, sub layers on them. Right. So keep a ear out for that. Yeah, if you, it sounds like they have lows in them, but really it's just the layering of the sub. Yeah. Bam. Yep. And the sub is following that too. And you're matching pitch a lot of times with subs. So like, we'll go in a lot of times and it'll be like if a growl, but sometimes growls don't sound in like a perfect pitch. So sometimes if you do little pitch bends and stuff, helps it out a lot. And like there's even weird shit, like this is pitching up. You know, like. Yeah, and I feel like it sounds better when you layer that low end instead of having it all on one sound. Yeah. It gives you more versatility too. Absolutely, I totally agree with you on that. Another cool thing about uh, this drop that I think that uh, kind of goes a little unnoticed is just like little things. You know, we have a little bit more atmosphere kind of going on with the siren that's kind of playing very low in the background. And of course some white noise just to kind of spruce it up. That helps the sub topper as well. And do we have a brass in here? No. Okay, the brass is at the other part, but. I love reversing brasses too in the next parts. They sound so cool. Rev brass. And uh, this little vocal loop that. Layer that shit, dude. This is actually from an old song that I had that I never released. And I took that, that vocal sample and manipulated it in here and put it on beats mode and then we resampled it and made this cool. Just yeah, like, that sounds Whoa! crazy. Uh, yeah. So. It's kind of like that's the Skrillex video we did of Face My Fears. Yeah. Kind of in that like same technique yeah, minus totally. the boards. Right, exactly. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind of cool. Like you're kind of like when you're making a drop like this, it, you're you're just kind of like picking sounds that you think are cool. Does that make sense? So like when you're trying to make a drop that's like really good, a lot of times it's like I'm not thinking in my head like, oh, I need like a vocal loop thingy that sounds like really cool. I'm like, oh, I, I bet you this would sound cool here. Like I don't know, you know? It's like just yeah. trying stuff that we like, and a lot of times that helps you come up with more original stuff. It's more just by accident, really, and just allowing yourself to be like, hey, what do I like? I like this this sound. This might sound might sound cool. Does it sound cool? No? All right, get the fuck yeah, out you, of here. You have to jam it until you yeah. find that like pivotal moment where like, oh, that main idea is super cool. Like, let's fucking add everything to that idea, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it's very, 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 very good point. It's like it's jamming, like you're in a band or some shit. You know yeah, what I mean? We're in a fucking we're band. We're in a fucking dude. band, dude. We're in a fucking big we're room, about to, baby. We're big about room to start duo. a big room band with somebody 
Actually, we're working with some people right now, some really, really big artists. Huge artists. Uh, that we're super excited to tell you guys about, but we can't yet. We want to. I'll tell you. No, don't it's tell me. Marshmallow. Them, Damn it, bro. Anyway, somebody of that caliber. So yeah, we're super stoked uh, to be to be announcing some stuff soon. That's why we've been kind of busy doing the FOMO videos. Obviously, the guys are, are, are kind of filling in for FOMO Fridays for the pack. And us ourselves are just really, really uh, trying to focus on the production and getting uh, the excellent brand as far as the music coming out for you guys and for our, our, ourselves, whether you like it or not. We're just doing it because it's fun. Yeah, we haven't forgot about you guys. We love doing videos. We're never going to stop doing videos. We might yep. take like breaks here and there just to get our shit together. But, you know, we're working. We're we making got, music. We got more content coming soon too. a lot of cool videos ideas. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, so another thing that we got going on is just like little vocal things. <laughs> I didn't even know that was there. I forgot about it. I had no idea that was yeah, there. Sick. Uh, but yeah, that's from this little uh, folk. This song's so fucking gas. Honestly, we put this in as like a joke, I think, in the beginning. Yeah. And then we were like, should we just leave it? Yeah. And you're like, yeah, fuck it. it and we just left great. it. But the, I think the real cool one, and I won't tell you who this, at, Parker knows who this is, but I can't tell you who that is. Yeah, no, that's top secret. That's top secret. This one. Motherfucking gas. Motherfucking gas. Yeah, we know who that is. That's our boy Cashmere, and you can actually uh, get this from uh, from our Cashmere pack, if you haven't seen that. Um, Cashmere, uh, our, our boy, did a lot of, uh, not Cashmere like Niles Cashmere. Um, Cashmere, the rapper, the, the way more talented and handsomer. Way guy. more handsome, for sure. Sure, Super hot, oh dude. My God. But yeah, I just combined two of the things together. Motherfucking gas. And a bunch of like frequency shifting going on, OTT, but pretty basic. So that's pretty much how that was done. Now let's go ahead and get into the drop lead, and I think that's probably the, the, the best part. Yeah, before you do that though, if you guys don't know already, you can literally get all of these sounds in Cartel Volume 2. Mm -hmm. Like this has been out for a long time. A lot of you guys have it, but if, if this is new to all of you, to some of you, Go pick it up. It's on sale right now. You can get volume one and two uh, for a hundred bucks. Yeah, hundred yeah, bucks. You get volume deal. one and volume two. They're usually seventy-five bucks each, so yeah. it's a really good deal right now. And you get this project file. Mm -hmm. So um, for our patrons, we'll probably do something a little different than uh, this this week because this is obviously connected to the pack. But um, for all you guys that don't have it. Go grab it. It's a killer, killer pack. Yeah, and if you guys want to support us too and get uh, tons of other free like project files and stuff, all you got to do is be a patron in our legacy tier or our YouTube tier or higher. Uh, you can go ahead and get a bunch of project files monthly, sounds, uh, presets, uh, unreleased stuff. Definitely. Uh, we're going to be start putting a lot more like behind the scenes content if you guys want to see that, which we think would be kind of cool, kind of showing yeah. you a lot of different ways that me and Parker work together because it's a fucking nuthouse here. But yeah, if you want to support us on Patreon, go check it out. Links in the description right yeah, there. Fucking spin that shit up. You know, you want to go ahead actually since, should we tornado some fucking uh, yeah, patrons fucking, in here, dude? Fucking tornado, dude? Thank you to all these patrons tornadoing around right here, dude. And then this little one lands right on my finger. Fucking tornado. Oh, get the oh, fuck no, out of here, dude. Out of there, dude. Fuck him. Support us on Patreon, Thank dude. You, you could have been that little, that little guy right there. Here he is again. Look, we, he's not oh, gone. he's back. He's back, dude. Here he is. He's a big shout out. He's a dedicated patron he's dedicated, right there, dude. dude. He's getting he twisted. Just, oh, oh sh you fucking ate our patron, dude. I'm a fucking fat dude, dude. I had two uh, acai we need, bowls today. We need that patron. I'm feeling pumped. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into the main lead. Okay, so this main lead. So there's kind of two parts that I'll show you. I'll show you uh, that I think is really necessary. It is so hype, dude. Yeah. It is so hype. Okay, so the way this, this lead started, started with this. We're gonna go ahead and give this lead away in the download description as well as the rack, but you gotta really, really fuck with it to get it like really crazy. And that's just a stock uh, preset from Cartel Volume 2. What's kind of happening here is it's just a sine wave, right? A sine wave and some processing. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> but uh, we were just kind of making like, oh, what can we do with this sound? And what's happening is the master tune and the pitch bend are, are being um, automated. The automation is really the key to this sound in itself. LFO rate, that little roll. I would see like people's projects, like like Getter or somebody, and I'd be like, oh man, I need to do more automation. Like, <laughs> like, oh, like, and I would just try to do it so that it looked like it. Yeah. <laughs> like it wasn't yeah. doing anything cool. But everything has a purpose here. So we got just the little fast little roll. Okay, and then what we have next is, uh, this is a frequency shifter that kind of happens over here. I'll go over that in a little bit. 
Um, okay, chain, frequency shift or dry wet. This is really interesting. We'll go over that in a little bit. Got the serum LFO rate. Uh, the, the tune of serum. This is really, really what's... Uh, pitching up, okay? Then we also have another pitch bend that just kind of starts from low to high. This is the master tune one. This is one that's on a macro. Okay, that's what's kind of happening right in the very beginning. So we started with that, okay? Next, what we started doing is we started adding some really, really interesting processing. First, we cut the lows, okay? And then we started fucking with a frequency shifter. And I remember it was like, I always see people messing with frequency shifters and I could never get them to sound cool. Yeah. And I feel like this is like the first time that we've ever gotten a frequency shifter to be like really. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just have to fucking twist it until there's like a sweet right. spot, you know? And what I think we started doing was, there. Sorry, yeah, so that, that comes later, but we were messing with that. So we did a little processing, OTT, uh, reverb, obviously it's a big amount of reverb uh, to give it a lot of space, but with short decay. Uh, another OTT uh, with some processing, 500 time, you guys can kind of see that, racks in the description. Uh, some more reverb, uh, sh a, a little bit longer decay, but with a shorter dry wet. And uh, you tilt going from mid side. That's being automated too. Uh, this mid side thing kind of messing around with the panning. Uh, bass clef washout. This is just to be able to have some uh, washouts at the end of the um, um, measures and stuff. Nothing to do with the actual processing. Uh, a muter because shit was getting really loud and overprocessed. Another EQ. An auto filter. This is the same thing, just sort of automation stuff for parts. Not really necessary. Another OTT and then yeah. a low end. And you can see it's really clipping, but it sounds... Pretty decent in the mix. Go back to the reverbs, because I think this is really important. Like, a lot of people always say just use one reverb, mm -hmm. but this is like the perfect case uh, yeah. or example of using two. Like one is to kind of fatten the sound with yeah. the short decay, mm -hmm. and then you process it a little bit more, and you're giving it more kind of release, but putting it in a room. And, yeah. And then the second reverb is to make it fucking big yeah. and, and have a really long decay. That's a really great point, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. A lot of times we'll like put a really short decay and a little bit more dry wet and it, you don't you don't really hear the reverb too much. It's just like a very quick reflection, like Parker's saying, like putting it like in a small room or something. Yeah, it sounds unnatural without it. Yeah, it gives it more of a, yeah, like a real like a real room feel. Yeah. You know, like if you were recording a drum set in your bedroom. Bro, I love your tracksuit, dude. Thank I, you, bro. I fucking want, I want a matching tracksuit, bud. We let's need, get it, bro. We, let's do it, dude. Do I look fucking like Rocky? I'm about to go like work bro. out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. That shit's fucking dope. Well, I, I, I want maybe a black one. Bro. I think apparent. I got this one at uh, Nordstrom's. Okay, shout out Nordstrom's. Nordstrom's.com, right here. Boop. Okay. Not sponsored yet. Not sponsored, but pretty much. Always be comfy when you're uh, doing uh, music, by the way. That's something that's really important to me. Also, acai bowls. If you acai have acai bowls. bowls, snacks. Sometimes you have a double bow day, like today, and then your hey, stomach hurts. I had a singular bowl. Your, your stomach hurts now. Too much dragon fucking bull. Okay, so back into this sound. So what we got going on now is like Parker was saying with the reverb, the main part of the sound that you're really kind of hearing the, the kind of crazy nuttiness. Okay, so what's happening is this frequency shifter has a different tune right here. It's like... And this this is actually like moving, almost like notes. And I think we were just randomly like kind of hitting things. Like, oh, that sounds cool. That sounds cool. And then we would repeat the process. But also the frequency uh, dry wet is not on in those parts. It's only on in the parts that. But it wasn't like we set out to make it like that. It just started kind of happening and then we just dialed it in just a little bit more. And the yeah. way that I've used frequency shifters to be really interesting is really messing with the actual frequency knob, but like not like automating it one way or two. It's like having it in different places. So this would be. And this is one. This would be another. 612. And then the coarse pitch on the frequency shifter as well is kind of doing a lot. And even the fine tune sometimes can get you some really interesting stuff. So that was a big part of it. Uh, just kind of play around with it and just it's find- It's really it. sensitive too. Yeah, it's super Fuck. sensitive. That's why the dry wet thing is kind of happening. And that's why- it, Look how big of a deal that is. It's only yeah. minus 1.43. It sounds like an octave. Yeah. As far as on, on the group processing, we just have side chain. So there's nothing going on besides what we have. So this one- Which that's uh, hilarious, you know? Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty clean for having no group processing. Yeah, dude. You know? Okay, so um, we got this. 
So this is kind of doing the same thing as before. But we're changing the notes. Like what was kind of cool is like we had the frequency shifter kind of going weird and it was doing the same sort of thing. And then we just started changing. So yeah, it was kind of just like kind of going, is that an octave? Yeah, it's just an octave. Yeah. So uh, a lot of times when I get like patches sometimes, I'll like do like little short notes like this. And then on the next one, I'll go an octave up. And sometimes it sounds like if it's a very, you can't do it like a long one. Because usually a lot of times with serum, the way the sounds are made are, um, you know, they're not necessarily made to be up in that octave register. But if you do them yeah. very short sometimes, you can get some really, really interesting tones. Just like really quick, like, like this. You heard it. If I just played this whole thing, ugh, too much, right? Yeah, way too much. But if you, but if it just hits in that right spot, it's it sounds pretty dope. I mean, that's a little nug and nudge right there. I don't know if you guys smoke, but cue the fucking music. Oh yeah, hopefully you enjoyed smoking that nug and nudge. Nice. So yeah, there's a little nug for you guys. When you're messing with those presets, uh, definitely try doing a little bit higher octave than its normal set octave, but make sure it's a very, very short note a lot of times because it will sound like ass. But if you if you kind of fuck with it going, you know, one octave to the next octave, you can kind of come up with something like this. And it had a little melody in it, which was kind of cool. And it obviously sounds like gas now. It sounds like gas. It's you know, not ass, I'll tell you that gas. much. Big gas. I think we were trying to EQ that frequency out quite a bit. I wish I had Fab Filter Pro Q3 on this so we can kind of tame it. Because sometimes when you take that frequency out, yeah. it kind of fucks it up, you mm -hmm. know? Uh, you know what I'm saying. You know yeah. what I'm saying. But I'm uh, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as like the drop sounds. I don't know if, it, I know you've, you've added a ton, but is there anything that you kind of wanted to... Uh, I think we hit it, man. Yeah, we, I think so too. We, there's a lot of really, really good layers in this thing or on the floor banger, you know? Oh yeah, we'll play that on the way out. Everybody always, you know, everybody talks shit about it, you know, in hybrid trap and going floor on the floor, you know, but... You People gotta, go off, you bro. You do it, bro. When you're in the club, dude, and that shit hits, like... Yeah. You're dancing, dude. Who the fuck's talking shit about that? I don't. I will fight hybrid them. Hybrid fucking trappers, dude. You know I am saying? in a tracksuit. Shit. I will fight you. The, don't talk shit the on floor fucking, 150. You know, hybrid oh, yeah. fucking, you know, whatever. Cool. But, what the fuck are they doing right uh, now? Exactly, dude. They're at <laughs> home, dude. <laughs> We're all at home. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button. Check out our Patreon to get a bunch of uh, different content like uh, serum presets unreleased, project files, uh, and uh, tons of samples that we have that are made exclusively for our patrons and back, back backstage. Let's see you guys in the next one. Let's play this one. We're gonna play the four on the floor on the way out. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Go grab it in the download description, like, subscribe, and suck up. <laughs>